Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into some mind-blowing science facts that will leave you speechless. Get ready to have your perception of reality challenged, because the universe is far stranger and more awe-inspiring than we could ever imagine. From the tiniest subatomic particles to the vast expanse of space, science reveals a tapestry of wonders that never ceases to amaze. So, buckle up as we embark on a journey through the cosmos of curiosity, where we'll uncover the hidden truths and astonishing phenomena that govern our world. Stay tuned, because you won't believe some of these. We often think of ourselves, humans, as the dominant species on Earth. But what if I told you that, in terms of sheer numbers, we're vastly outnumbered by a much smaller six-legged life form? That's right, I'm talking about ants. For every single human on this planet, there are estimated to be 2.5 million ants. That's 20 quadrillion ants in total. Now, you might be thinking, well, they're just tiny insects. But consider this. While the claim that their total mass equals ours isn't quite true, over half of the known ant species are venomous. Imagine the chaos if those 2.5 million ants per person decided to rise up. It would be an entomological apocalypse. Thankfully, ants are more interested in their complex societies and ecological roles than world domination. For now, at least. Here's a fact that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction. Bananas produce antimatter. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. You see, bananas contain potassium, which is essential for our bodies. But a tiny fraction of that potassium exists as a radioactive isotope called potassium-40. As potassium-40 decays, one of the byproducts is a positron, which is the antimatter counterpart of an electron. Don't worry though, this isn't something to be alarmed about. The amount of antimatter produced by a banana is incredibly small and poses no threat. In fact, the average person's body generates more antimatter than a banana, thanks to all the potassium we naturally contain. Still, it's pretty mind-blowing to think that something as ordinary as a banana is capable of producing these exotic particles. It makes you wonder what other secrets nature is hiding in plain sight. We often associate intelligence with primates like chimpanzees and gorillas. But did you know that some of the most intelligent creatures on Earth might be flying right over our heads? Crows, those black-feathered birds we often see in parks and backyards, possess remarkable cognitive abilities. Don't let their small size fool you, their brains are packed with neurons. Studies have shown that crows can solve complex puzzles, use tools, and even recognize human faces. They have exceptional memories and can even hold grudges. In fact, a crow's intelligence is thought to be on par with that of a seven-year-old human child. That's pretty impressive for an animal with a brain the size of a walnut. So the next time you see a crow, remember that you're looking at one of nature's most intelligent creations, and maybe think twice before you try to pull a fast one on them. We tend to think of ourselves as individuals, but the truth is that we're walking ecosystems. Our bodies are home to trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. In fact, there are slightly more of them than there are of our own cells. That's right, we're outnumbered in our own bodies. But before you reach for the hand sanitizer, it's important to remember that most of these microbes are actually beneficial. They help us digest food, boost our immune systems, and even influence our moods. This microscopic community, known as the microbiome, is essential for our health and well-being. So the next time you're feeling out of sorts, remember that it might not just be you. It could be your trillions of tiny passengers sending you a message. We humans come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, but despite our differences, we're all remarkably alike at the genetic level. In fact, the DNA of any two humans is about 99.9% .9 identical. That tiny 0.1% difference is what makes us unique, accounting for our variations in appearance, personality, and susceptibility to disease. But it's pretty amazing to think that we share so much of our genetic code with every other human on Earth. It's a testament to the power of evolution and the interconnectedness of all life. We're all part of one big, messy, beautiful family and that shared DNA, it's not just limited to humans. We share about 96% of our DNA with chimpanzees, our closest living relatives. It underscores the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the deep evolutionary history we all share. We often gaze up at the sky and marvel at the beauty of clouds, those fluffy white masses drifting effortlessly overhead. But have you ever stopped to consider just how heavy those clouds actually are? A typical cumulus cloud, the kind that looks like a cotton ball can weigh as much as four blue whales. 
that's over a million pounds of water vapor suspended in the air. So, how do these massive collections of water droplets stay afloat? It all comes down to density. While a cloud may weigh a lot, it's spread out over a large volume of air. This means that its overall density is lower than the surrounding air, allowing it to remain buoyant. It's a delicate balance and one that can change quickly, as anyone who's ever been caught in a sudden downpour can attest. We all know that pets can trigger allergies in humans, but did you know that it can work both ways? That's right, our furry, scaly, and feathered companions can be allergic to us too. Just like us, pets can suffer from a variety of allergies, including those triggered by pollen, dust mites, and even their human companions. While the prevalence of human allergies in pets is relatively low, it's still something to be aware of. So if you notice your pet scratching, sneezing, or experiencing other allergy-like symptoms, it's worth considering whether you might be the culprit. It might require a change in lifestyle, like more frequent baths for your pet or designated allergy-free zones. Diamonds, those sparkling symbols of luxury and rarity are formed under immense pressure deep within the Earth's mantle. But what if I told you that diamonds could rain down from the skies on other planets? It sounds like something out of a fairy tale, but scientists believe that diamond rain may be a regular occurrence on Neptune and Uranus, the ice giants of our solar system. These planets have atmospheres rich in methane. Under the extreme pressure and heat found deep within these planets, methane molecules can be broken down releasing carbon atoms. These carbon atoms then bond together, forming diamonds that slowly sink through the planet's layers. While we haven't directly observed diamond rain on Neptune or Uranus, laboratory experiments have recreated the conditions thought to exist on these planets, and the results support this dazzling theory. We're all familiar with hydrogen as a gas, the lightest and most abundant element in the universe. But what if I told you that hydrogen can also exist in a metallic state? Under extreme pressure like that found in the cores of gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, hydrogen atoms are squeezed so tightly together that their electrons become detached, forming a sea of free-flowing electrons. This exotic state of matter, known as metallic hydrogen, is thought to be responsible for the powerful magnetic fields of these gas giants. It's also a superconductor meaning it can conduct electricity with zero resistance. Scientists have been trying to create metallic hydrogen in the lab for decades, and while progress has been made, it remains one of the most elusive and sought-after materials in condensed matter physics. We often take for granted the simple act of shuffling a deck of cards, but hidden within this mundane action is a mind-boggling statistical truth. There are more ways to arrange a deck of 52 cards than there are atoms in the Milky Way galaxy. To be precise, there are 52 factorial, 52, possible arrangements, which equals a staggering 8.0658 times 10 to the power of 67. That's an 8 with 67 zeros after it. To put that into perspective, there are estimated to be around 100 billion stars in the Milky Way and roughly 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Yet the number of ways to shuffle a deck of cards dwarfs even those astronomical figures. It means that every time you properly shuffle a deck of cards, it's highly likely that you've created an arrangement that has never existed before in the history of the universe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these shocking science facts, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. We've only scratched the surface of the universe's mysteries, and there's always something new and incredible to discover. Keep your curiosity burning and never stop exploring the wonders of the cosmos. See you next time.